and welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Zugtar. Zugtar is ranked 19th in his Diamond Division with 235 points and 37 wins. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the West up against Zugtar. He is the Red Protoss player in the North. The map is the Shattered Temple. Uh, honestly, one of my favorite maps. Uh, so far, uh, due to really the, the variability of the game, uh, depending on the spawn location on the map. Let's put up the nameplate. Yes, the nameplate. Open up the game with that. So already we see a pylon on the way for Zugtar. Uh, that is standard for uh, for the the Protoss players, you usually see that out of them. And it looks like he's going to supply lock himself for a bit. Yes, he does. My pr my uh, supply depot is, of course, later than his. Looks like... I am I going to be supply locked at all? No! Perfect timing on that. So already I've taken a lead. Or, I, I would like to think I have a lead. Let's go ahead and turn that off. That thing is huge, man. I'm sorry. You know, I could turn on the nameplate and the army count. I mean, just the things take up the whole screen. So already we're seeing a gateway out, and I instantly pick his base. So I are, I honestly changed my build here. I was going for a two-rack uh, fast expand, but seeing his spawn location, I decided to change that and go for a late refinery here for a three-racks, uh, just trying to get as much out as soon as I can, and he surrounds me and kills my SCV. A little bit of a rookie mistake on my part in um, setting the guy to go through the mineral line. You never really want to do that. But then again, it looks like Zoo is having a lot of trouble uh, re reorganizing his probes after the kill. This guy is just staying around not doing anything. Uh, so this guy. So maybe it worked out well for me uh, letting him kill my SCV uh, because of his lack to, to recover so far. I'm sure he'll get back around to that. Uh, looks like He's chrono boosting the Nexus. That does tell you a lot. What it tells me is that he is not going to be going for four gate with uh, proxy pylon early on. I see that probe coming up the ramp. I send my SCV to try to stop him. I do not want him to see the second racks, let alone the third racks. I don't want my opponent to know what's going on. He does have one zealot out front. Um, looks like he's going to be going for... no, another pylon! No, this is the perfect time for you to get the second gateway, but instead he goes for the pylon and the second assimilator. Meanwhile, I do have three, wa three racks on the way, two marines coming out. These should get tech labs. One is finished and then he's getting the tech lab. I do need another supply depot, but it doesn't look like I'm building it right now. Oh, that is, that is not good. I need that supply depot right now. I need it. It's already late and it's not even starting yet. Stalker on the way. Looks like he's trying to get some scouting done. He's going to see, uh, he sees five marines and then scurries off. So I'm not exactly sure why he sent, why he sent the, the stalker, to be honest with you. I mean, he did get some scouting done, but all that it really proved was that I don't have an expansion and that I have, uh, I think he could, he probably saw all, all five of my marines. Maybe he only got a few of them, uh, but he definitely knows that they're there. Uh, two supply depots go up. Uh, because I knew I was behind, um, and as you can see, as soon as they go up, the production line goes way up. Um, getting the stim pack, getting the concussive shell stim pack, of course, already took forever. Now it takes even longer thanks to the patch update. I'm still a little upset about that because it has thrown off a couple of my timings. Um, wh what I used to do was wait for that stim pack and then make my first move, but now I do have to wait a little bit longer. What is that rally point? Oh, that's on the robotics facility, so we should be seeing an observer out shortly. 
Yes, as soon as the thing was finished, he's getting an observer. He does have quite a bit of gas and minerals for this early in the game. Only one warp gate still, so he's really on one warp, one gate, one robotics facility. So really, he's only getting one unit at a time because he's not getting any immortals yet. He does have a second gateway on the way, but really by this point you should have all four up and that robotics facility, you know, it's early, so he's going to be able to get scouting done a little bit earlier than most players would, but he's not going to have the units to counter what is he's going to find in my base. Uh, he, if I had moved in now, it would be game over. Let's be honest. I, I, when I saw the replay, I was surprised at how much of a lead I had really early on. Looks like he thought about going for an expansion, but instead he is going to be going for that third racks, or sorry, third racks, no, third gate right now. Um, I don't think I saw this observer at this point, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. I'm just concerned on getting uh, mineral management in tow right now, looks like. I just got enough for the weapons level 1 upgrade at the engineering bay and the combat shield. Um, stim pack is finished, now would be a great time to move out, and it looks like that is what I'm going to be doing. Apparently I had to wait for the observer to get back and then I can move out, yes. Uh, at this point I did definitely see the observer, but I just don't have enough energy to take it out right now. And uh, by the time that I do have enough energy, it would be pointless of for me to do that. I still have the larger army right now, or at least I should, I do. Uh, his is much more gas heavy though. Uh, those immortals are incredibly expensive. And of course he does have the high ground and uh, the sentry. And that one sentry, as you can see, that saved the game for him. If it wasn't for that one sentry, this would all be dead. Let's be honest. Uh, one sentry can save you in a time of need. So I'm going for my expansion, just uh, content holding him to the one base right now. Um, he doesn't have uh, the army it takes to take it out. Looks like he just now got it with those two stalkers. Um, I would assume that with those two he'd be able to take out. Notice the lack of zealots in this unit makeup altogether. He has one zealot. I have no idea where it is. Oh, here it is. That's the Zalnaga Tower. That is pretty much a useless uh, Zalnaga Tower based on the, the spawn locations. So here I have no chance. Um, too many immortals. Could not focus them down. Uh, couldn't focus the sentry because I was I was looking s elsewhere at the time. And now here I'm assuming that he would have gone for a counterattack, but he does not. He just wants to secure the expansion. I knew mine was earlier than his, though, at this point. So I knew that I had the economic advantage, even though I went for three racks. Um, I am going for two more racks, so five racks is on the way. Uh, finished uh, the weapons upgrade number one. Uh, the armor is on the way right now. Going for a transfer, going for a command center, morphing into an orbital command, sorry. Uh, so reactor tech lab going on the five racks. And I... I know this, is, this observer is hanging out in the middle of my army. Um, but right now I want to secure my economic advantage more than I want to uh, take out that observer so I am getting the mules instead as you can see I'm 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 happy with that saturation right there you know it can use one or two more SCVs but that that is good saturation right there and here it looks like he is finally moving out for a counterattack it is really late because he went for that nexus instead. Uh, he still only has three gate, uh, so he needs more warp gates. He just needs it. Proxy pylon is set up. Uh, stalkers are now being warped in here. Two more zealots coming in. Uh, so he has a total of four, including this one here. That's, uh, you know, he can have that Zelnaga tower till the end of time for all I care based on where we're spawned. I did take out the observer. He moves in for the attack. Am I going to have enough to counter this? This missile turret is actually in the way, causing us uh, to not be able to take uh, to get a full concave. And it looks like uh, those uh, those re reinforcing 
stalkers are going to be able to finish that off. And now the missile turret is up and it is pointless. I should have canceled that a long time ago. He force fields off the ramp to prevent reinforcements. I don't have any. This was my rally point. So I'm sending my SCVs to try to do as much damage as I can. It actually does a lot of damage against Immortals. I'm always surprised to see that, but it looks like there are just too many stalkers here. I'm willing to sacrifice those SCVs to keep this Orbital Command alive, though. And it doesn't look like I have enough to take it out here. I do uh, limit it down to just two stalkers. Three more come in, though, and he runs off. I don't know why he did this. He still had five stalkers. Why don't you keep attacking? I do have uh, four marines and three marauders, but that's not going to be enough to hold off your reinforcing army, unless, of course, you only have three gate. That's why he did it, I assume. Um, he does have two more gate on the way. And he still had the bad rally point, so he's able to take out one of my marines? No, he doesn't even take out the marine! So he wasted that that immortal altogether. Let's look at the units loss count. It's pretty much even, even though I lost so many more units. He lost a lot more in resources because these stalkers are more expensive than my marauders. And he's been sending immortals. Immortals are about the same price as a siege tank. So he's been losing a lot of units overall. He's going for a robotics bay. It is late. He needed that a while ago. He needs Colossus. That's what we should be seeing out of him. He's going for Thermal Lance. But no Colossus. There we go. There's the Colossus. It is... Wow. It's late. What do you want me to say? So now Zealots are coming out. Zealots are what you want when you get the Colossus. I'm not the best Protoss player. I shouldn't be the one that tells you this. But if you get the Colossus out and the only thing to support them are the stalkers then I can run up and attack your colossus. I'm speaking from of course a Terran's pers perspective if uh, if you're up against a Zerg player you know maybe you don't even go for colossus at all but I assume that would be the same for a Roach Hydra build if you just have stalkers I can run up right up to the stalkers and start attacking the colossus with these zealots they force me down here while the Colossus can hang out maybe up here or up here and do damage uh, without really taking any in. Uh, so because he never took out that Orbital Command, I am almost instantly resaturated. Still oversaturated here uh, because uh, there are so few mineral patches left. I'm considering where to get that third base right now. Uh, looks like I'm e even transferring a little bit more here. Um, even though I'm pretty well saturated here, I do need uh, to get those Vespine geysers up and running. I have a large army here. As we can see, uh, his large army is larger overall, uh, but I feel that my upgrades are what keeps me in this. Uh, they don't have, it looks like, any upgrades at all. Um, maybe, oh, they do have the, the Thermal Lance upgrade here. He does. Um, but besides that, I can't really see an upgrade. So I'm just moving in and stimming up a ton of force fields going down, but it is not a complete block off. I scan, uh, so I'm able to take out the, the Colossus. He only had the one. One more is on the way, but I do have clearly enough to wipe out his army, and he GG's here. Uh, but he does want to talk about the game a little bit. He did almost have me. He should have done more damage. Focus down the expansion. If that expansion went down, it definitely would not have been this outcome. I don't know if I would have lost, but I definitely would not have won the game here um, with this little army here. I'm continuing to produce, it looks like. I do have one siege tank out. Siege mode is not ready, it looks like. No, I haven't even started it. I did start to follow behind at this point, even though I definitely definitely shouldn't. Um, oh, yeah, it looks like he left. Finally. All he had left were these uh, five stalkers. Looks like he left after I took out that second Colossus. So there, that's the game. I love this game. Um, mostly because it kind of epitomizes what I've been doing lately. Um, you know, resorting to my old, my old habits. Some of them good, some of them bad. This, this one's bad. Um, and letting the, my opponent take the lead 
really when I had the lead early and I, I didn't take advantage of that, I didn't even realize that I would have the lead, uh, but he had so few units in his base, I let him take the lead in terms of army, so um, if he had uh, countered earlier, it would have been more devastating, uh, but thanks to... Um, Thanks to this expansion here, going up so early, I was able to get the economic advantage, and that, of course, leads to the army advantage in the long run. So this was a comeback win for me because I was behind uh, for a good while there. And hopefully this marks the beginning of a comeback overall where I can start winning some more games. I've been losing a lot, mostly because of that kind of stuff right there. 1,300 minerals, 500 gas, that's way too much. Um, so I've been losing because of that, because of uh, not recognizing builds. So hopefully I can get back in and get some wins. Hopefully move up the, the diamond ladder, I believe. I got up to about... 30 something but i believe i'm about 40 or so right now so i hope you guys have enjoyed this game hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching